Okay, so we are back from the vets and I am happy to say it went very well, didn't it? I actually in the end didn't um, take Clara and Arabella. Now you can see my shadow, so hello. <laughs> um, I just took little Daphne and it turned out that it was nothing to worry about. Basically, my vet looked down her ears with I'm trying to think what they're called. I think otoscope or endoscope type of thing. But anyway, um, she looked down her ears and both were very, very clean and clear. No signs of mites or infection or anything like that. So that was a relief. The her all she could really put it down to was maybe that her glands are just overworking and on her ears, like her ear, like the um all of like what you normally get, you get, you, we all normally get discharged like, you know, ear wax from our ears and it was just that it was overworking in that way. So that's what she's kind of put it down to. It could well be a breed thing with her being a lung carrier that I do find that she has more dry in her bare patch of skin area. So like her feet and her uh, nose and her ears and things like that, that, um, her skin is a lot drier than the other girls so it could well be that that it's just over like working and the wax is just building up there but it's all coming out anyway so the wax is easily coming out it's not creating like massive like blockages basically of wax so all I've got to do is keep an eye on it if it gets any worse, as in like if she starts having a head tilt or something like that, then um, to obviously bring her back because that's developed into an infection. But otherwise, I've just got to keep it kind of relatively clean on the outside as well as I can because it's all clear in the inside. So it's just coming out like in the ear flappy bit. So I've just got to keep that clean. She says if it does become gunky again then to use a saline and water solution and try and put it down her ear but if she becomes too kind of it, it irritates her too much having that done then not to bother because there's not really much else that they can do so basically it's a really really good thing and that there was nothing wrong infection wise or mites or anything it's just that her ears are just more waxy than the others and it builds up a lot quicker so that is that but um I am just glad that it is nothing serious and that I can just keep on top of it and it may well just be a trait that the lung carrier have or that she just particularly does have so we just have to keep an eye on her but that is really good news so I'm glad to tell you all of that and not to tell you horrible news so I think the other two girls are happy to have her back you seem happy. Everyone's popcorning. I've just given them some lettuce as well to say, well done Daphne for being such a good girl at the vets because she was so, so good. You're always so good at the vets. Yeah? I know Clara. You know. Do I get kisses? You're smelling where I've been. You're like, where have you been? i nibble my finger. So I'm just glad to really have that answer. This is why I find going to the vet is so so important. It puts your mind at rest if there really is nothing that really worrisome. But if there is then it's the time to get it all fixed and to start treating it. So this is why going to a vet is so so important and I thought I'd do this little video because it comes up spontaneously. It's never when you plan it that they're going to get ill or they're going to have some sort of, I don't know, abnormality in them. So it's always spontaneous and might not always expect it. So you should always be prepared to take them to the vets. But that's all I really wanted to say. So fortunately, she is all fine. And we all thank you for all of your lovely comments that I've had saying that they hope Daphne is fine and to send their love and we really do appreciate it so I'm happy to say she is absolutely perfectly fine and it's just me being a worrisome mum but also ear infections can be really serious so it's definitely something to go to the vets about if you're unsure so but anyway I shall speak to my next one enough waffling and yeah we'll see to you soon so bye